guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna give you guys a new type of video, a story time video. I've never done one before, so I'm super excited. But today I wanna tell you about an experience I had with the school board. Now obviously I'm gonna change some names and I'm not gonna tell you which school board it is, but I am gonna tell you that I live in North Carolina. So it's one of the county school boards in North Carolina. That's all I'm gonna say. So I graduated from college in 2015 with a bachelor's degree in mass communications. So I started a job almost right out of the gate a week after I graduated at a daily newspaper. So at this newspaper I had a couple of responsibilities. I covered a city and I went to all of their meetings and reported on what happened. I also covered the religion page and any religious events that were going on and I covered the feature section the last couple of weeks that I worked at the newspaper. But my main concern was always the education page. That's what I was hired as. I was hired as the education reporter. So something you should know about this school system is it's in a rural part of North Carolina. It's very poor and so there were always interesting things going on because of money issues and then there were issues because in this particular county a lot of people were hired who weren't necessarily considered qualified for the position that they were in. A lot of people got their jobs because they knew someone, which that happens a lot of places anyway, so I don't know why that really matters. So within the first couple of school board meetings that I attended, the superintendent said that he would like to retire. So to start the replacement process after he announced his retirement, the school board decided to use some money to do not only a survey to ask teachers and parents what they wanted in a new superintendent, but they also hired an agency to help them find a good candidate to replace their superintendent. In the meantime, since the superintendent had already decided a retirement date and he had already retired, they had the assistant superintendent take over in the interim period as the superintendent of the schools until they found a replacement. So a lot of people who took this survey wanted someone from outside of the county because of the whole everyone gets hired because of who they know issue at this particular school board and in this particular county. So this agency that they hired narrowed down the applicants to a couple of top choices and we were hearing all around town from all these people that they had made a decision and they told us the name of the guy and we, and so we contacted him I didn't personally contact him one of my fellow reporters contacted him and he told us that it was his understanding that the attorney of the school board and the chairman of the school board had given him permission to say that he was officially offered the job this man was so pleasant he was so smart and he didn't say anything bad about the school board he was so excited to be able to work with them and he was just over the moon happy. Needless to say our reporter writes a great article about this guy and publish, publishes it in the paper. So around Tuesday the next week I had another school board meeting and I go to this meeting and as soon as I walk in I just get like daggers from some of the school board members. Of course there were some that were really nice and liked me and then there were some that didn't weren't really fans of our paper. It wasn't necessarily towards me but they really didn't like newspapers or our paper. So all of a sudden during the meeting, an issue comes up and one of the school board members says that basically the candidate talking to the newspaper was illegal. First of all, it wasn't illegal unless he signed a contract to say that he wouldn't speak about it. And I found out later that he hadn't signed a contract yet. They're in the heat of the moment discussing the issue and I'm just sitting there taking notes. I have my phone recording the audio from the meeting. All of a sudden one of the school board members will call her Regina, that's not her name. All of a sudden she says, you better not misquote me. You better make sure that you're saying what I'm saying because I'm sick of being misquoted by your newspaper. Now keep in mind, this is my like first couple of weeks on the job. I've never met this lady. So she's assuming that I'm going to do her wrong because someone in our paper in the past did her wrong. And I just politely told her, like I did speak during the meeting, I politely told her, hey, I have this on recording, I'm not gonna misquote you all of this. So all of this goes on for a while, but I go back to the office the next day and I ask them about this lady, Regina. And they said that someone quoted her, like misquoted her like six years ago. And I'm like, those people aren't even at this paper anymore. Another issue came up because the guy who was offered the job actually had sent in the wrong paperwork and it had some of his credentials listed as being out of date, but he had the correct paperwork. He sent it to us. We ran a couple of stories explaining his credentials and that he was completely certified to be a superintendent. But the board just like 
started saying all this stuff about him that was kind of mean and unprofessional in my opinion. This goes on for a little while. They have this discussion, but in the end they decided to offer him this job and they gave him the offer and I think it was good for about a week or two. He hadn't started yet. He told them that he wouldn't be able to start until a certain day because of his other job. So I go to another school board meeting and they open up by saying that they received a letter from this guy. Let's call him Tim. Tim is the prospective superintendent. Tim basically says, I'm sorry to inform you, I don't feel comfortable working in this environment. I will not be accepting the position, so please continue your search for superintendent. Of course, these people were still mad. If they would have just been nice to him and really looked at his resume and saw how qualified he was, then he wouldn't have probably turned down the position. But in the end, what ended up happening, they offered the job to the assistant superintendent full time, even though he said he didn't really want it, but he accepted it. And as far as I know, there've been ups and downs, but there've always been ups and downs. But that was the time that I got called out at a meeting for something I didn't even do. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the beautiful scenery, subscribe, like these videos, share these videos with your friends. Please support us here on YouTube. And we thank you so much for watching. Hi guys, and thanks so much for watching another video from We're the Allisons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can check out some of our other videos and you can also find us on our social media sites here. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.